<laughs> Welcome back to the ASSR Junior League live here from the DreamHack Monster Energy Studios. That was game number one of our second series of the day, and oh my god, Team Liquid and Imperial, they just they just went at it. They yeah. uh, had some amazing fights. In the end, it was Imperial that came out on top, but I think that was uh, well, we undecided for a very long time during the entire game. It was. I mean, it was super back and forth. Yeah. No one could have really predicted how the game was going to go. Liquid did feel a little bit quite on the back foot, obviously, because Miracle felt like he needed to go for those rapiers. Yeah. And it, it didn't really pay off for them in the end of it at all. What do you think? A bit to do with isomization. We, we hopped a lot on uh, Vega yesterday when they, with the anti mates who kept on selling and buying and selling, selling and, and buying. buying it again <laughs> and then selling and it I think some of the optimization in this game was uh, it could have been optimized better on both sides actually um, we saw baby knight go down a few times because he didn't have a black king bar mm -hmm. um, there was a Lincoln's on the weaver when he sat on a ton of gold that wasn't really necessary any anymore to my knowledge at least I I tried to wrap my brain around why he would keep the Lincoln's but there was no real reason for it um, and then of course on the radiant side of things on liquid's team I think uh, well, there was so much going on in this game. We discussed this backstage. <laughs> really they didn't have any Lincolns. For they the didn't last have Lincolns against the Bat Rider. Yeah. Um, there's there's something else. Okay, I, I forgot half of it. I should Doesn't have written matter. it down. Doesn't matter. We can we can take. A look. We have. Uh, I believe we have two clips for you guys. Uh, the first one. I mean, the first one was at like 20, 28, 29 minutes. It was like in another and game, basically. This is a whole different game. So this is the moment where Batrider just picked up, uh, pause please, just picked up a uh, Aghanim Scepter. And that's great. We've seen Hester Joe Rotten do before. Gets the perfect blink lasso and drags him out and the whole fight's won on the back of that. But Liquid is taking down this Roshan very fast. So... Um, I don't think Imperial was really aware of that. They were on the, they were planning on doing something, but Roshan has just been killed. And they were and running as fast as they could. Yeah, and on the minimap you can see them that they're almost there. But as Roshan gets killed, there's a little bit of uh, hesitation from Imperial. You yeah. actually, actually, I thought they would lose this fight because now you're just gonna see the most YOLO move I've ever seen from a carry player. Baby Knight just jumping in confidently, yeah. immediately ultimate. Ben Ryder's already backed off. He just here. goes in. He wants Boom. to get vision though. I mean. Yeah, he, he gets an issue. At this point, he hasn't died yet as well, so, uh, you know, it's very risky here. But he manages to uh, astro himself, and in comes the Batrider still, and he grabs both Lifestealer and Shadow Fiend. Now, they don't get killed straight away, but it's Weaver Aces just making sure that he's killing off the rest, killing off the supports. And at this point, this is the first hit that Miracle is actually able to do in that entire fight. It was... Uh, yeah, just, just kiting him around while they're killing the rest of the team. Yeah. I mean, it was a really cool approach there by Baby Knight because he gets the whole vision, hits everybody with the Shiva's Guard, and then hits everybody with Sanity Clip. So it's a massive amount of damage burst potential, splits the fight up as well. Yeah. And then he's a nuisance. He didn't die. So that was. Well, you got to wonder, well though, how, how much better the fight could have gone if they'd gone in together. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the thing is, he kind of peeled them into a, like a, a, a place that they didn't really want to go. This is League of Legends. He pulled them out of like the pit. What do you mean? No, is that, that, a, that's is that a, a lead yeah, it's, I've, no, never watched, it's, I've never watched a single game of League. Okay, peeling is everything. Really? Okay. Well, I'll, no, never, say, I'll never say that Obviously again. Obviously, it was, it, was, uh, <laughs> it, it, it panned out great, yeah. but yeah. It, it wasn't planned to be. Yeah, it was just a perfect, it was actually a perfect, Hester Joe had like, I, I mean, this guy's Batrider's got to get yeah. panned out, right? He's been, yes. he's been cr owning. We, we were talking about this. It's so weird that a, a, a player so dominant on one particular hero keeps on getting it first pick in almost yeah. every game that we see them play, there's this Batrider. And then, you know, once he gets that Aghanim Scepter up, it's how many games have been decided on the back of him carry, picking up two carry heroes every time? And it's mostly around, time. around that Roche pit, and somehow he does it every single time. Uh, there's another clip, and he himself didn't play that big of a role. Uh, but Rice did on oh. the oh, yeah. deck. They this kind of both did. This was this they, was they both did. Okay. this was so sick. So at this point, there are two rapiers in the inventory of Miracle, and this is their push, thinking, okay, we exactly we just got two kills, yeah. and, and this, you know, he has buyback available, but it's it's there's big there are big kills. So let's see how this is gonna play out. It's actually a deja vu of, of what happened 30 minutes earlier, where they also so watch, pull into. Yeah. We're gonna watch Rise here because he has a stolen fissure. So Hester Joe gets a beautiful laugh off, and look at this fissure. Splits off the fight completely. My yeah. control blinks in trying to help his buddy, but Ace already has so much damage and in. The Guardian Angel doesn't actually reach. Yep. He tries, but it's uh yeah, it's not it's not there. But Ace still has the diffusal. He has diffusal two still anyway, so even if it does hit him, he can just purge it off yeah. pretty much instantly. Goes back to the Lincoln's pickup, why there wasn't one. Yeah. And I love that they have one of the rapiers just sitting there for the rest of the game almost, just because they didn't want it. They didn't want to have the risk of giving it back, and this entire fight, of course, gets gets won by uh, by Imperial. Look, another another, another, another fissure. It's it, like these fissures were actually so massive in this fight, yeah. but 
they just didn't expect it at all. Like, that was a mm. beautiful lasso by Hester Joe, beautiful fissures by them, and then the follow-up damage is just there. And with the buyback from, from Baby Knight, it's yeah. just, it's extremely detrimental to Liquid. They didn't, couldn't even do anything. They did, like, no damage in this fight because of just the positioning that they got brought into. Uh, we can uh, we can take a look at the, at the MVP votes as well because I think this game... You know, at the start of the of the day, we we are the ones that choose the five players that you can vote for, and and that and that's real great. But and we've been know, real bad at it today. Uh, we were, we are. Well, well we yeah. have has to Joe in there, but I feel like Rise needs uh, special mention as well. I think people kind of misunderstood. I mean, Miracle does get a bit of an MVP. He did buy two rapiers. You know, he gets a credit for that. He had a nice start too. Yeah. He yeah. got a double kill in mid lane. Yeah. He re he was he was. I mean, it was looking like Liquid's game. After I mean, they were getting that I'm sure that's that not why he's getting that many votes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but Miracle actually did did play yeah. a good game. Yeah, d d despite it all, it all. But yeah. this uh, this really goes to show both Virtus Pro and Liquid they don't respect Imperial enough. Like the fact that they've been able to get <coughs> Batrider, OD, Rubik yeah. in two games today out of the three we've seen uh, is testament to the fact that neither Liquid nor VP respects the best heroes on these players enough. Has to Joe Rodden for the bad rider, obviously, but also Rice get, picking up that Rubik every time on a third pick. Yeah, it's just uh, you know it makes me it makes me question whether they don't do their homework in, in terms of 